Tia and the J's. I'm Turquoise, my mother Janice, and sister Janice. And today our topics are colorism, of course, within the black community. Um, a comment, we would like to respond to a comment that was made underneath one of our videos on Instagram. Of course, <laughs> Trump, and much more. Okay, so I'm going to um, start with the comment that was left under one of our videos. Let me pull it up here. Okay, so the comment that was left in one of our videos on Instagram, um, this young man put, black females do not lead or speak for black men. No one gets black men killed or locked up more than a black woman. Black females use the same racist police and same racist system against black men. So um, my sister and I responded on Instagram to the young man, um, also leaving a comment, but I like to get my mother's opinion. What do you think, Mom? First of all, I want to say they blame black women for everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that we don't call the police normally. We call family members. Yeah, to whoop your ass. We don't usually call the police. <laughs> but I will say if you go to jail, you either steal it or you sell it dope. Or you that has nothing to do with us as black women and they should stop trying to make comments always to us like we're to blame if it wasn't for us they wouldn't even be here they should be grateful that they had a mom because moms is the only people that stick it out with their kids no matter what mm -hmm. but to blame us for everything we're not even going i'm not even going to respond to that stupid shit no more because that's stupid to to always think it's us we do this we do that hey if you don't want to date black women, that's fine, but we're not the cause of all you guys' problems. Definitely not. You have anything to... I have a lot to say. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, first off, everything she said is absolutely correct, but I would go on and say, because she said that <laughs> black women are the reason why a lot of black men are locked up, that we use the racist system against them. And I'm like, okay... The only way a black woman, for one, can get you locked up is if you did something wrong. Like him. You would have to do yeah. something wrong. And when you think about it, black women die at the hands of domestic violence mm -hmm. at almost like four times the rate of other nationalities of women. Black women are killed by men they don't know, usually black men, at three times the rate of mm -hmm races of other women. Yeah. Uh, dude, I'm sorry, I got interrupted because I saw Dude's comment. Dude said, Dad said, you don't call the police, you pull knives. <laughs> I do that too. I do that That's too. We, yeah. we, we do self-defense, but black women have suffered greatly at the hands of black men, and we don't go around preaching that, but there's mm -hmm. this narrative that, like for him to come on one of our posts and, and say it, something like that, we've never bashed black uh -huh. men as a whole. We've always said, you know, these are our people, we want the best for all of us. Mm -hmm. We've never bashed black men as a whole. So unless for him to say us. that, unless they're bashing us, you know, like we, we've never done that. And for him to come on our comments and say stuff like that, it didn't make sense for us. Like you yeah, can feel that way. You can feel like, that what? way about a woman. But black women have some grievances. Most likely, if, if a black woman blocked you up, you did something to her. And then another thing I want to say is um, our video actually we weren't even discussing black men. Black men. <laughs> yeah, I mean, wasn't. we mentioned like Ti and comes about his daughter, things like that. But it wasn't us like judging black men or speaking, trying to speak for black men or anything like that. And I do want to say, because we posted comments on responding to his comment on Instagram, but um, there are other ethnicities of women that call the cops that they feel threatened um, on a black man. Also, there has been vir viral videos of a black man just literally, if they live in the neighborhood and it's a, you know, suburban neighborhood, a, a, a white woman or a Spanish woman may call the cops because they feel like that person a Karen coming up thinking she yeah, exactly um, it, or, or you there. just sit you mind your business or you doing your job, job yeah you doing your job I say you're a delivery man for FedEx you deliver delivering a package so it's not like us as black women are doing anything to harm you unless you're something to harm us 
And then also, if you think about it, I, I watch a lot of um, ID Channel and yeah. TV One. They have uh, a lot of murder special shows on there. A lot of black women who are in domestic relationships don't even never contact the police. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so when they are murdered, the boyfriend honestly is like the last suspect because yeah. they have no record of uh, the woman. Because she hasn't reported it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Only the family and friends know. Yeah. Yeah. Unless she's smart like me and cut his ass. Yeah. Like dad said, you pull a knife. Hey. Uh, <laughs> not only use them. Shout out to Duden. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to Duden Leland. They in the comments right now. We were on the smartest dumb people. Uh, on Friday. Thank you guys for having us on the show. We had a great time. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Uh, Thank you. But uh, we got some comments and like dude already, we already said what dude said. And Leland said, you don't think women make false domestic violent claims. And uh, uh, some I, but not all. I, don't, I think most of the time. All. I think I know most some of the time make a the false truth. domestic claim because usually they have a black eye. Oh yeah, they, they don't have some kind of evidence. Yeah, they, kind of they don't just true. take you to jail because somebody yeah. said. But they somebody can say, like, okay, a good example would be from what Leland is talking about. This is a great example, and this is something that I've been like against and been like fighting for because Johnny Depp. We all know who Johnny oh, Depp so is, sick. and this is uh, uh, this is not this has nothing to do with race. This is just men and women. Period. Johnny Depp was married to an actress named Amber Heard. She filed domestic violence charges on him. He got fired from multiple jobs. Uh, Disney don't want to fuck with him. He's like, people are not wanting to work, for, work with him. And then evidence proved that it was her abusing him. Yeah. Evidence proved that it was her abusing him. And she's getting jobs. She's still getting hired. And he's still being shunned, even though the evidence proves it wasn't he was him. Innocent. He was the one getting abused. Mm -hmm. And so there's like a campaign of people like, hey, no, fire Amber Heard and rehire Johnny Depp. And it, it's not working so far, but there are a lot of people like, hey, y'all need to correct this wrong. So I get what Leland is saying with that, because the truth of the matter is, when a woman does fall, file a false claim, it's hard to reverse it for that man. Yeah, but you can't say, you can't put it like the comment that was left as if it's to blame, to blame on all women. Yeah, it is you know not. I mean, you can't, like, you all can't of do us that. Aren't because like there are abuse saying. cases. Yeah. He must have had a his yeah. black woman called on him because he trying to jump on her and he yeah. must have went to yeah. jail. He mad about it, but you can't say all oh, oh, black women. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Leland said that was super fun to show. Yeah, it was fun. It was really yeah, fun. Yeah, we had a great I time. didn't understand the words y'all was saying. <laughs> I we can't were, understand because y'all all, 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 all talk at the same time. But dude did check us on that. He was like, hold on, let's so yeah, don't get did. their point across. So dude was keeping everybody dude in line. Trying, dude was doing really good being a moderator. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, but uh, again, that comment definitely threw me through a, a loophole. Me too. Yeah, so I'm like... You can't just blame black women. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that you get... Or saying that calls. word against the black men. Like, there's this narrative that black women are out to get black men or harm black men. Well, we've been the most protected. Okay, hold on. Leland black said black women stay running to the... So th this is what's funny is that line, I hear that line a lot from a lot of black men. And the reason why it's so funny is because what y'all are basically saying is if, if we don't beck and call to what y'all want, y'all feel like we're running to somebody else to say this one, that's not the but case. But don't y'all date outside y'all y'all race? Don't well, a lot of y'all. The phrase a lot of y'all. Look at the black man running the white mom. Yeah, because a lot of y'all date, yeah. black, uh, date white phrase. women or Hispanic women more than us black women date outside of our race. So what are black, black women are known for running to themselves. They yeah. take care of themselves and do for themselves. We're not running that. Out. I no agree with that. that. They get judged and, 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 and you we you too independent. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we don't kiss y'all. Yeah, exactly. That's I what agree it is. with that. Uh, yeah, that's not true at all. If anything, it's y'all. Right. Y'all expose y'all saying that stuff online all the time. <laughs> but anyways, What's moving on. Time? Colorism. So a few years ago, Rick Ross had a show to where he was trying to find like the next popping female artist, and um, he chose. Okay, so just Britney, who is she reminds me of like an off. I hate to say it, not no disrespect, like an off-brand Nicki Minaj. She does kind of look like Nicki. Yeah, Minaj. it was her verse. I don't know the other young lady's name, but she was 
you know, like probably like my complexion, darker skin. And she sang beautifully. Just Britney, the light skin chick, she was awful. But he felt like she just Britney did better. So it brought up this whole issue of colorism. Light skin versus dark skin. We see it way more with females, you know, like the light skin females and dark skin females for in the black community than we do with light skin males, dark skin males. So me being a dark skinned woman, I can definitely say there is colorism in the black community. Um, you know, you I, I would take it even a step further than that. Because another thing about the two girls, like watching the clip of them, that I, uh, stark difference between the girls, uh, just Brittany, very exposed, boobs exposed, mm. tight clothes, very sexualized. Mm. Whereas the other girl, fully covered, you're not seeing none of her curves, she's just like, hear my voice, hear my talent, look at me, like I'm not trying to be sexually exposed to y'all, I just want y'all to hear my voice and tell me that y'all like my voice. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Just Britney girl was more, look at me, look at me, look how sexy I am. I can't like, sing a lick, yeah, like, but look I, look I at can't me. sing a <laughs> lick. And that's basically what it was. Rick Ross was attracted to Just Britney and not attracted to, uh, her name was uh, Kiera, I believe. Kiera? I, I believe her name was, her name was like uh, Kiera, something like that. It was, it was like K-I-A-R-A, -K Kiera. But anyway, she had a beautiful voice, mm. beautiful voice. And they told her that the other girls sound, sounded better than her when really they were just looking at her. And I think it has to do with colorism, but I also has, think it has to do with how people that are overly sexualized are exposed. And you know what's funny is that these same men that would pick just Britney over this young lady that some beautifully, completely covered are now complaining about these just Britney, Cardi B types but talking about they're ruining the girls, but y'all the ones who made it popular. But you know so. what? It, it can be an attraction thing, but also, like Rick Ross, he's a boss, right? You could have picked, picked both. You could have said just Britney, I like you better for just rapping and pick the other young lady for singing. You know, so I don't know. Instead, they tore whole, her down. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. So, uh, they tore her down and said, you know what? Instead of telling her how good she did, they said, you know what? She did better than you. Because mm. uh, she called her out. I don't like a handsome man. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, um, but he, the girl just Brittany called the other, the humble, modest girl out because they were singing to the same track. And she was like, yeah, I, uh, basically telling them, hey, y'all need to compare us because we're using the same track. And they mm -hmm. did, and they went with just Britney because they liked how she looked. She was a lighter, complexed, sexual girl. She's going to be the one that as soon as they get her on her feet, she's going to drop mm -hmm. their ass. And you and know what? She was on Love and Hip Hop. I think you you did. Just, yeah, she was on Love and Hip Hop. Just she ain't made it nowhere. Oh. But you know what's funny is, well, I'm not even going to get into that because I don't want to. Get into it, please. But anyways. So the, the girls that are seriously modest and have talent aren't given a chance mm -hmm. because they won't expose their moves, mm -hmm. they won't expose their butt, they won't twerk. Mm -hmm. they, they just like look at, listen to my voice, listen to my music, and just like me for my talent. And they told her she was an act. But mm. you know what? I think it depends because Lauren Hill wasn't overly sexualized. And, and she, she was, was if you high. notice, she's the only one that got that high. She's the only one that made it to the top of the charts like that. Mm -hmm. Like Jasmine Sullivan would be considered somebody like that too. She's not overexposing herself. She's a modest woman and she has a beautiful voice. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's tons of people that say she should have been in like Adele status. Like she's got a soul Adele voice. Adele don't show her body off either. That's, that's, why, that's why she's yeah. compared to her because she's yeah. another modest woman. But Jasmine isn't at the same level You know what I think Adele. it is? I honestly... Because there are. They're not popularized. But I, I think it's within. I don't think it has any. Okay, I think in some sense it does have. Mm -hmm. Exposed, and in some sense it doesn't. Because again, like Lauren Hill made it, Adele made it. I think it's within your own people. I think like a lot of. Judge, mm -hmm. we're quick to hate, you know, yep. and we're not quick to support. So she's a white woman. She get love from her 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 race, and then also from the black community. Yeah. 
So I think, it's, I think it's more so in some cases, not all that you know people just be but that hanging. also has to do with the colorism thing yeah yeah that, that, exactly. that has to do with the colorism yeah. that's why people say that uh Leela makes a good point like jill scott mary j and tina turner tina turner is one of the ones that made it like but if mary j is one of the ones that made it jill scott is very popular but i don't think jill scott is, is as popular with white people as she is Like, just like Jasmine Sull Sullivan is popular with black people, but not so much white people. We, you know how you always say there's the people that black people know and then other people don't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. We make a lot of people famous. We do. In our own community. We do. What do you think, Mom? <laughs> I'm like, I'm light skin. Let me just sit over here. Ah, and ah, be ah, quiet. Ah, but then, <laughs> then this colorism thing goes to the, the, go to the, the, the Danny Lee uh, Lay or whatever. I don't even know how to pronounce it. His girlfriend, she made a song basically saying how uh, a yellow bone song praising yellow bone women or light skin women. Which, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with being proud of your skin color or anything like that. But in the song, she was saying he wants, like saying all men prefer light-skinned women. That's what her song's messaging basically was. And so a lot of people took offense to it, and there's a lot I of debate. take offense but to that, too. Mom, and mom is a light-skinned woman. Y'all like, uh, calling me light-skinned. <laughs> you, you are. You are. You are. Light -skin. You uh, are but, but, but I would be offended but you, by But you are light-skinned. But not in the same thing. But that, not like. saying anything wrong with it. Like, like, there's nothing wrong with being proud of your skin color, but the way she put this song out, it, sound, it looked like it was a slam to her boyfriend's baby mom. Because her boyfriend's. Baby mom is a dark skinned woman, mm -hmm. and it was sound like she was taking shots. Baby daddy wanted her, her over her. Mm -hmm. That's what it sounded like. Well, she made a song about the baby mom that's dark skinned, and all she's doing is raising her up and taking herself down because she's down and oh dark-skinned women. That's why people took issue with that's it. What, that's why people it. took issue with it. But the thing is, is I don't say, I don't feel like there's anything wrong. Like people are comparing it to Beyonce's brown skin girl song. And the reason why it's not the same is because the brown skin girl song is literally talking about all shades of brown. Mm -hmm. You can be light, light, you can nothing to do with about a man wanting you had nothing to do about a woman wanting you it was just look y'all are beautiful and I, this is what I see when I see y'all mm -hmm. y'all are so beautiful that's what it was if she had did a song like that talking about just light-skinned people that would have been okay but instead she was literally just saying hey men want me everybody that's not like me meaning darker skinned women mm -hmm. Y'all are, the, she was trying to feel, make herself feel superior and that's why people took issue with it. And there's a debate going on about why is it okay for dark skin to make uplifting songs about themselves but not light skin? Because y'all literally are talking about if you how y'all are better. Else down, but if you're putting somebody down, 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 like, he wants me because I'm this color. Not, and when literally brown skin girl was like, you, it's your skin is like, your, your skin it's is like curls. You're beautiful. Yeah. You're, I, I love you. I just yeah. love, it had nothing to do with anybody else. It was just seeing somebody like, you're beautiful. It drives me crazy because light skinned women, they get all the recognition already. Yes, I said and that. And for one song to uplift us who aren't that, you know, paper bag color or lighter. Yeah. I don't see any harm in it. She, Beyonce was the same thing. And it's coming from a light skinned woman on top of that. Yes. Beyonce, Beyonce, Beyonce is a light skinned woman skin. yeah. herself. So just her uplifting the women of color. And I think that that's freaking fabulous. I don't yeah. think anything's wrong with that. Yeah. You know, like if I you go your whole life to being too. called darky or all kinds yeah. of negative condemnation, we all know that light skin has been the preference. There's tons of songs like. I, he does, he's not downing anybody in that song, and I love that song. And I'm not a red bone. I love Childish Gambino's red bone. I love Childish Gambino, and he might even be a colorist himself. But I, he makes good music. He's not down talking people in his music. And then it's crazy because it's like it's okay to be a dark skinned man. But to be a dark skinned yeah. woman, that's Ooh, because like they committed a murder. No, 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 no. no. that's because they associate being dark skinned with being masculine. 
That's freaking ridiculous. Oh, it like is. that, like yes. that. Uh, what was that guy? He was dark skinned and the white women wanted. What was Mandingo? Yes, oh, man. Yes. yes. The, oh, yes, Mandingo. Let me tell yes. y'all, and I'm not trying to put my mom blast. But my mom is just as tough as any man. Yes. Yeah, and is. again, she's high up. <laughs> <laughs> She won't call the police. She's gonna let her nice. You know what I mean? So why would you associate dark skinned women with masculine? Ratchet. I ratchet. I'm a I'm a ratchet. That's I'm ratchet. You know what? Because we're on the subject of colorism, there was also a TikTok video of a girl, like somebody posed the question of uh as a person of color, name something that you were ridiculed for that people today like it's trendy now. And a black girl was like, so when we used to wear bamboo earrings, we used to wear bright color wigs, when we used mm -hmm. to wear, you know, cornrows and baby hairs and stuff, we got called ratchet and ghetto and all of that. And I all thought that, that stuff was beautiful. Uh, us having yeah. big booties, we were called fat. fat we were yeah. called, like, we were. Then the one lady, but I'm not uneducated. I know her name. I'm just a little too cute right now. But she was literally put in as in a circus act. The black girl was uh, uh, talking about um like and that ain't even that real black. They have sugar for that here. I'm talking about. Yeah, they they just shots and all kinds of stuff. That's what I'm saying. I'm not uneducated. I know her name, but I'm just like, her name starts with it. But yeah, like her for oh, example. Her. Yeah. But but she was made. She was like a surf, something. She so, was a like she, had she, had she had a big butt. But look mm -hmm. at everybody now getting butt injections mm -hmm. and breast yeah. implants yeah. and all. Everything that it seems like a darker skinned woman does mm -hmm. is considered ratchet. Ghetto until wire people start until doing it. Until people start doing it, then all of a sudden it's or, trendy. Or white people. Or, but that's enough. That has to do it also with like black fishing. Like people, since because black, black characteristics or black culture traits are trendy now, so you have during the ghetto culture style. Like you can mm -hmm. think of Ariana Grande, who is now super tan and she wears the bamboo yeah. earrings. She hangs around a lot of black people. Yo, yo, Pooh J told them about the like girl with the in her hair. hair. But it was called ghetto and ratchet when it was only black women doing it. But now, or specifically dark skinned black women yeah. doing it, that has a lot to do with the colorism issue. And the reason why people take offense to like the Danny girl song, because you're what you're saying is that you're above us. Mm -hmm. You're trying to make yourself seem like you're superior to us. If you're going to compare it to the Beyonce song, her song you didn't can't compare. mean anybody. All she it's said was, I see things. a brown skinned girl. I feel like her skin is like pearl. She's the most best thing I've ever seen in the world. Like I just see her and I see beauty. She's not mm -hmm. comparing her to anybody else. And then uh, Leland said, did anybody get upset when Drake said he likes BBWs? Hell no! Well, that's different. He didn't say... Because he complimented he but, but see, he didn't say... I Charles Gambino said he he liked the red bone. He made a beautiful love song, and I'm like, this this is slapping. I like this. I like yeah. this a lot. He didn't say anything degrading about anything else. There's no. I'm saying there's nothing wrong. As I said before, there's nothing wrong with loving your skin color, whether dark, light, or in, whatever. There's nothing wrong with loving who you are and loving your image. There's nothing wrong with uplifting your image. There's, yeah. It's a whole different story when you are literally trying to make yourself seem superior to somebody, yeah. to somebody yes. else. Yeah. I think it's good to love on yourself and, and then also give that representation to where other little, little girls, little boys that look like you, something they can, you know, aspire, aspire to. Yes, exactly. So I don't see anything wrong. It's just how you put it out there. It is. You have to be very it careful out about the words that you use. So. Like a biracial person being proud of being both black and white and making a song about how I'm both and I love being both. There's nothing wrong with that. There's but saying that you'd rather be white and just be black. Are... Exactly. Okay, uh, stop that. Leland, stop what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I... 
Oh, elaborate. We, we talk, I don't know what he's talking about. Stop what? But anyways. Okay, now um, moving on to my <laughs> my mom's favorite topic. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Donald Trump. What would you like to say, mother? I would like to say, why in the hell don't they want him to go to jail? Talking about he not the president no more. And ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They wasn't singing that song when they was hiding from them. In the insurrection? Yes. That's the word I think about. <laughs> insurrection. But yeah, they wasn't saying that when they had to hide. I think he should go to jail. I think any Republican that helped them come in there and yeah, do they all that, all be, they all that. should go to jail. Before, all I said is a white woman needed her ass kicked and they put me in jail. Yeah, they did. So, yeah, you go in there, kill people, hitting them with sticks and police officers, you should be in jail. He's no you better than nobody else. What kills me is how, the, how they only call for unity when it's Democrats. Yeah, power. yeah. Like, when, yeah. They, when, they're, when Republicans are in power. Four they're years they're we've been second, you in charge. Yes. You got to say, I drink all your tears. tears. And, and now that it's uh, but Democrat you know what? what speaking oh, let's of the, come together. Speak, I don't want to come together. Yeah, I, exactly, exactly. But speaking of the insurrection, those QAnon followers. That makes me think of that. The QAnon people like really truly believed in their head. I saw videos of people crying, yeah, and oh, yeah, begging, and talking about, please stop this. And when the inauguration they was really going believed on, it was they crazy. really believed because of somebody that this QAnon. Uh, uh, determine martial law and make it so all of those people, like everybody at the inauguration, was going to get arrested because of some fake uh, sex trafficking ring. They really believe this shit. And while they were watching it, they're like, any moment now, they said it's going to go all the way through. And they're what? What? Like y'all were duped. Y'all were duped. Th this is why I don't do the conspiracy theory stuff because when y'all are disappointed y'all can't wrap y'all rock your head around it it's crazy I'm like live in reality don't you be trusting what? nobody off he always knew that he lost i think mm -hmm. they just want to go to the capitol and yeah, act a damn, damn fool because they I knew agree, he yeah. lost they yeah, knew yeah. he knew he lost they knew he lost and most of them republicans because they told him to march right up there yep they did. and they said Yeah, that's so, not going there and act, act a damn fool. That's what it meant. So I think they all should go to jail. And okay. it's a spot. So, uh, yeah, see what Leland just said. Y'all want white people to beat white people. It won't happen. They stay on code. We're the only people asking to love everybody. I'm not asking nobody to love nobody, honestly. I'm only going to. I got yeah, bullshit yeah, yeah, after no. four years of suffering. I don't no. give a damn what they trying no, to do. I'm, I, not I'm really. only for loving people that love me. That's my thing. If you don't like me, you can stay over there. You don't like me because for whatever reason, you can stay over there. I won't bother you. As a matter if fact, you won't bother if you like me, you can still stay over there because I might not like you. <laughs> okay, so keep right. your ass on over there. <laughs> but like, I'm just, that's just me. I'm just like, hey, I'm not about to sit up here and argue and do all of this stuff with you. I'd rather just, you know, okay, fine. Leave, let's leave it at that. Let's agree to disagree. Let, I'm not gonna and let, I'm, I'm not gonna, gonna agree to disagree there. with I'll Trump. I ain't gonna be happy until he and the Republicans that urge that stuff on Well, but but, but this is the thing, and, and, and this is the thing that I've been paying attention to in regards to this whole politics thing. If y'all not gonna hold any of these people accountable, mm -hmm. if y'all y'all better not ever impeach or try to come out like the, some woman already then file article articles of impeachment for Biden and he's only been what? in there for like three he ain't years. even did that. <laughs> he hasn't even done anything yet, but she's already filed the articles. Of, it's not gonna go anywhere. That's just but like still. Uh, the guy that lived out here wants to sue the guy because he was he, 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 he did that yeah. to prove a point. Right. And yeah. obviously he's right because Biden yeah, didn't he he did Yeah, like, like he, he was like, he can sue anybody and everybody for nothing. And, and he was telling the truth. He was proving a point. But she's doing that and like, y'all want to go that route about, but telling the other side, no, don't hold the people that actually did horrible things accountable. But you know what that, that says to me? It makes no sense. To me, that says... 
okay, we then ran over y'all for four years. Now that y'all have a chance to run the country, do the let's be close and let's no. not get another bus no. in trouble. I don't think that's, that's not what right. you were saying when y'all yeah. were. Oh, and so they no. was treating us like dirt. He got to mention you talking about Biden. <laughs> Uh, Leland said he got dementia. If you talking about Biden having dementia, I'd Trump, rather Trump got more than he dementia. Got more than he got he's, he's, no, he's really delusional. You know, is this man that has dementia, as you say, makes more sense than the last one? Yes. Who claims who, who, who say doesn't have it? He makes more sense in his speeches than this man who just got out of office. Mm -hmm. So and I'd just, rather have the man with dementia. All I'm saying is just remember, if Biden, even if he is too old, then you got Kamala does. So when, like people, uh, when they took a, a Samuel Jackson's character from Django, they said they ain't mad at Joe. They mad at that colored girl. <laughs> <laughs> she but is, the thing that I I really do. Always be around, whether it's towards black people, Hispanic people, anybody. Because I'm a racist. Yeah. I don't care for whites. You love white people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you do that. Uh, don't go, Jeanette. Don't say her name because I don't consider her. But she, but she is. But I, you love she her. She's the only one. Name another one. Her sister. You love it? Yep, you love her sister. You name somebody that ain't in Jeanette's family. family. She was like, name <laughs> somebody. <laughs> name somebody that ain't in Jeanette's family. Yeah. I don't know. Certain people that you dislike who are not your color. You also don't like some black people. Yeah. <laughs> so you, know, you, know, you don't like black people all the time. You, you don't like so, black people either. So it's not geared towards one group of people. You're like, you just dislike people, people of personality. Yeah, you, you're yeah. talking about specific people. So let's people. say that. Because you know, I love your relationship. <laughs> we'll say that, but we all know that's not Personality. Yes. Okay. That's what it is. Oh. <laughs> okay, but um, uh, he said the the greater country in the world ran by a guy who can barely think. Someone wrote that for him. Uh, every coherent speech that was wrote for Trump, he didn't write. And when he speaks his own mind, he says he sounds way more crazy than Joe. What Biden. is Leland? Is Leland for Trump? Or for Biden. Tell me right now, Leland, so I can know well, what but, but what's crazy to me. Like, but Leland <laughs> ain't never said nothing about Trump when we used to talk about yeah. Trump. He was proud. He showed on Biden. What did Biden he, ever do to is, Leland? But, then, but, but trying to help him. He's doing like what Leland everybody's doing. Leland about them little sales. Like Trump money. checks that Trump said. That wasn't even his money. You know what? That was our money anyway. What Leland is doing is what a lot of hoteps do. Like, the man has only been in the office for want to believe that he's bad. They don't even yeah, care. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter what yeah. he does. He could do the greatest thing for them and they will still say something is wrong with him. We waiting for white daddy. He just he hates the fact Biden. that... You think both the same? They both the same. Well, well, at least Biden don't act like he racist. Trump was racist from the beginning all the way to the end. So I'm with, I'm for Biden. You know who should have been president was Bernie Sanders. The the meme of him going yeah, around. Uh, oh, I love that meme of him. That him sitting everywhere in his little coat and mittens. I love Biden. I just Biden. want to ask one question. Why is Leland them so against everything we say that we feel is right? Not against everything we say. Everything every him. week I got to argue with Lee. He <laughs> likes to play devil's advocate by his own words. Which I, I do appreciate. Comments. Well, fuck them comments. <laughs> but I think that Bernie Sanders should have been president. But it's funny, is I love how they're making memes of him everywhere and somebody said it great. Y'all put Bernie everywhere but in office.
True. And that's the truth. Like, because Bernie should have been the president. Bernie should have been the president. He really should have. I like Biden, though. Biden, I feel like... Another Republican. I would have took right right them, but yes, Trump. I I'm just tired I of him making excuses for that sucker that came up in. He literally spit in all the black people face. He spit in everybody. He, he made white racism a thing for four fucking years. He made it okay. He, he made it a thing. People they was walking them. around running like, their baskets into me, trying to hit me with their car and shit. I stood out there and acting a goddamn fool, but I'm just saying. Because a lot of people yeah. was doing that. What did Kanye say years ago? Racism is no lie. They just consume. But Kanye ain't saying that right now. He's saying we choosing to see racism. He's not saying that now because he ain't on his medication. Right. <laughs> He's <confused. laughs> He's but up. years ago, like racism. But if Kanye would have like, stayed away from Kim, he would still been that smart Kanye West. Uh, Leland said, yeah. I can't agree with women, especially some. But, each is the but a lot of black women can't agree with black men that think like you. Like, a lot of black women can't agree with Ooh. men that think like you. We can stay over there and I'll go over here. Now, I can tell you one thing. When we have a show, we let everybody talk. Not just one person. Leland. <laughs> All right. Leland. You know, it's funny. It's like since mom said that, because Leland, since you're watching, uh, you always have this thing about bull calling women bulldogs. You bulldog yeah, a lot when you have know. conversations with people. <laughs> yeah, you got clear out of me. You have, you have, you bulldog a lot. It's not the women that's the problem. Sometimes when you think somebody else is the problem, you especially if you're saying that you have this. Well, if they all, woman. if they all, woman? I'm sure he has one. I'm okay, sure he has yeah, one. if he got a black woman and he sure look dumb. He said, "Mama, stop that." <laughs> I just want to know. If it's about black women about black guys you, but the thing that give me a black grandmothers black some sisters. may have black sisters black auntie you know I just I just don't see where the disconnect comes from control Especially it comes from control by a, it comes from control woman, you and, know what and, I mean? and I want to be nurtured I ain't gonna the ones how they want to be nurtured, it should be nurtured. <laughs> grown <laughs> men right. don't need to be right but that's what they were saying on that show that y'all did with them I want to be nurtured I want somebody to love me please tell me babies not grown men and then on top of that they say females are very emotional no but men are way more emotional men, than women yes they are and yeah, I don't get are. it Y'all get upset at us for being strong, but then expect us really without putting it out there. You want us to be strong, you know what I mean? It's like you, you, you want you fight for me, but be do, uh, docile. Yeah, uh, be you strong want to march for me, fight for our causes, but at the same time submit to me. Because you want to be the that one kind of that's thing. being nurtured and being taken care of like a newborn baby. But should have stayed in the womb. Leland said, yeah. "My old lady, black and beautiful." Okay, then start saying that. He said, "Start saying that." Hello, he said, "Hello, that's your son." <laughs> My son, bullshit. <laughs> bullshit. Okay, don't blame nothing on my son. Ooh. He ain't down in black women. I don't. Well, I don't for other down in black women. Like you, can, you can, Everybody has their preference. You know, date outside your race, whatever. But don't diss. Your race at the same time. Don't say I only date white because of this. Why? I, I, I say why it. even it's compare? It, if yeah. You happy, you happy. Don't do it. Like just let it go. Like there's no. The man. strong move in silence. Do you move in silence, Leland? He don't never shut up. So we know what kind of person he, he is. Said, loud, not strong. Loud, mm -hmm. not. You boy. You be one of the, you be one of the loudest ones in the room. You no, know, dang well, you ain't gonna, gonna be silent. <laughs> and nobody's <laughs> gonna be silent. You know, Leland. you're not gonna be silent, so why should a woman be silent? And Leland. if you don't like me having Come a on. voice, 
then I, you're not the one for me. Period. Yeah, come on. God did not give me these cute lips and this high pitched voice. To be quiet. Okay. <laughs> exactly. No. That's funny. <laughs> yo, yo. Leland. Leland, shut up. Leland. <laughs> shut up. I'm telling you, when we did our This is why right. mom wasn't on the smart I'm not going to say. When we did our little joint show. Mom would have been like. I mean, do that. that she would have pulled out a phone from my What I'm trying to say is. It's no sense in arguing with people that don't want to listen. Lila want people to hear his side, and he don't want to hear nobody else's side. Oh, argue too yeah, much. We first, of all, first of all, I will do whatever I want to. I'm a grown no, ass I'm woman. Y'all don't feel that way. Y'all do the show with them. But yeah. I didn't understand a damn thing that y'all was saying. Nothing. Because everybody was talking at the same time. Oh. We stop and let each other talk, even if we don't agree. We like want me there. No, yeah. no, he didn't want me there because I, I, I don't have patience for to argue. I, I'm here just to talk and say. No hour and somebody don't get hit. If you if you end up throwing the first blow, I'll do the honors. But I'm not gonna stand and argue with nobody. I'm like 60 finna conversation with you, but I'm not gonna go back and forth arguing with you. The only thing I I have I have fun doing the show, which my brother was surprised that I actually speak. <laughs> but um So I'm a little silent, but I, I did definitely have fun doing the show. Um, he said, Leland said, he just tried to be biased and open to all sides. Yeah, that I said he plays devil's, devil's advocate. He plays devil's advocate. Yeah, and I, I definitely Absolutely. agree. Um, everybody has the right to their own opinion. Yes, yes absolutely. You know, um, but I got to twist the tea for anybody that got mm -hmm. some, you know, if you want to come. Yeah, I, I agree with this course not arguing. I have, I'm okay with having a debate with people. I, I think I'm good at it. I like to debate with people. Mm. I like to debate I'm with people. I'm too old with debate. I like when to I hear debate, I feel sides. like you're arguing with me, so therefore, mm -mm. I, I like, like to debate. debate. I like to debate with people because I like hearing different sides, and I also like proving my point. My thing is, though, debates turn into arguments. That's you can, you when can, one side doesn't want to hear you. Yeah, but you can debate and peep things in peacefully. That's something completely different. But you can't make somebody feel how you feel. Yeah, I agree with that. So that's yes. when the argument, you yeah. know, comes into play. Yeah. I have to respect your opinion. Yes. You respect mine. Yes. You know, you can and agree then, and disagree. Yeah, and that's it. Don't try to force me to be like, oh yeah, you right and agree to your opinion. That's yeah. when it becomes an argument. Yeah, I agree. With yeah, that. I agree. You know, um, I agree with that one. I, I agree with that. I agree with that. You but know, that's it's, just, I mean, that's presentation just, is how you present it. Yeah, I agree. they be like, oh, these, I'll never say to you or mom, you're ignorant because you don't agree with me. I'll just say, I have my opinion, you have yours, boom, that's it. Yeah. But that's what I wouldn't call you uneducated. Yeah, I wouldn't say that you were Let me up on the show calling my son uneducated. He don't know about history and stuff like that. And I will tell you something. Do let it. Anthony, Mom, do let let it. Anthony is not no dummy. He's not the only dumb thing he did was to sit there and let them talk to him like that. <laughs> That's the only thing he did dumb. Because for some odd reason, for them to all be friends, they all seem to just jump on him. I'll they both talk against him <laughs> when he be trying on. to make a point. You know, and I'm talking to you, Leland, and I don't know the other guy's name, but I'm talking to him too. <laughs> oh, Lord, Mama. Um, oh, Lord, Mama. <laughs> I would say... I definitely think all of your children are very intelligent. Yeah, highly, highly intelligent. Seriously, we, we really are. Um, and so I don't think...
Yeah, I'm definitely agreeing with you. I think he holds back a lot for the sake of not having an argument. When he when well, he ought to be show. more like his mama and don't give a. He can be he like you when he We see them that. Well, he yeah. should be more like me and don't care. Okay. Uh, he hired me every time. This is about to be over because I don't want to keep answering no questions. No, I'm just saying. All I would say is this is just like I have. You're gonna have di disagreements you're mm -hmm. gonna have different opinions about different things yeah. but as long as you're away mm -hmm. and move on from it i'm not gonna keep arguing the point i'll let it go All right mom any final words bye y'all yeah. um i would just like to say this has this is just ongoing whether it's in school or amongst friends and i'm not trying to call anybody out say anything bad but the word history is what everybody loves to love to say it's have to do this and that and I, again i'm not trying to throw any shade at anybody my thing is Unless you were seriously there, you don't know you don't the facts. Know. You don't. Anybody could have wrote that history yes. book you're reading. You yes. know, anybody could have made changes. It, it, it's nothing that we can actually say is factual unless we are was present at that time. And then evolution would tell you that things today will never be the way that it was before because things always change. That's what evolution exactly. is. And then you can't want to grow. Again, no shade to anybody. But you can't expect to grow. You can't expect your people to grow if you're stuck in the, in the past. past. Yes, you have to literally accept yes. change. You have to move on. It, it, yes. The, the change. History is, is, is good to know. But again, who wrote it? You know what I mean? You can speak with your grandparents. You can only go so far with history. You can take DNA tests now to Let's see. see. there you should never argue with somebody about history yes. on this and this and that if you haven't proven Pre to yourself yes. that you're yes. this this and that you can't just yes. say that but you can believe something you can believe anything well i could believe that i was a horse horse dna i can't say that i'm a horse for sure mm -hmm. so it, it is um a, a fortunate thing oh, we Don't be saying that if you not educated about the topic. It's okay to say that if they never resourced your doing homework, reading, whatever you're reading, who said that is true? You know what I mean? Like I mean, you can choose less, to believe it. Yeah, but that but has nothing to do with right now because times. I could off. be. I could be a Muslim. Nisi could be a Christian, yeah. and my mom could be atheist. Uh, well, okay, let me switch that. Mom yes. could be a Christian. Yeah. 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 Christian atheist. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. But I yeah. can't sit here and tell my mom. You Identify yes. it, you know, I, 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 I can't because nobody yeah. knows the truth unless you were there. And I, I get it, but then you, have, then you have to think. That book that you got that was from 1800 is, is the same person, you know. People make that's my issue with religion. People that's change things religion. to make it fit to what they believe. Yes. So be cautious. I'm not saying. To he be said he be. I'm, I'm semi. I'm almost there. I'm you know, almost I'm almost there. there. But uh, <laughs> them vegans, they gonna be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be hungry, broke, and uh. Transition to being vegan. I'm hungry. <laughs> I mean, damn it, I'll be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and then plus the suspicion. She spent like she bought like seven meals and spent like ninety dollars more. Girl, if she ninety dollars. Healthy, we could have got food. That And that's a shame that you know we have to spend so much money for on organic healthy, product, healthy food versus stuff that is processed. 
to eat some oh, plants. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh uh. God put them plants here for free. If you want to eat God plants, go and cook them. That's right. <laughs> He said you have to study to become one. You be researching too, right? No, all I do is eat food Listen, that I know. He's trying to tell you how to be a... See? see? But I'm saying, who's to say that it's correct, Leland? That's what I'm trying to tell if you. If all I do is be honest. Who say the sky is dark outside? Leland will go to the window and say, no, <laughs> it's light outside. You made it's a light, mistake. It's a Research eating plant based. <laughs> <laughs> I can research recipes on how to make you know different things that taste good. Plant based food. Matter of fact, after this show, I'm about to hop in my car and get an impossible whopper. <laughs> I don't yeah. I'm hungry. You, you'll probably have something. You think that's vegan? <laughs> I bet you Lila would say that in regards to that. Lila, you're not gonna run me off my own show. No. <laughs> And talking shit. Wait until it's the you know what? Smart, it's dumb guys mom, or whatever. Mom, it would be so funny to see. Dumb. I would love to see a conversation between her and Lila. Oh no, you wouldn't. They would have to be in cages, separated, mm. but still. But <laughs> Lila, you not listening to me, huh? He don't okay, have he said, That's what. That's what I think mm. I'm saying. You have to read and research anything you're interested in. But who's saying that what you're researching and reading is correct? It's the facts. It's the truth. Unless you literally study you can, it. you can read one thing here and then read something yeah, else. Yeah, unless you're literally doing a study stuff. yourself, then that's just it. It's just it's just hearsay. Yeah. On. Yeah. We had a great time. They had a good time, but I didn't understand a word y'all was saying. I'm gonna keep saying that. We did have a good time. Okay, so we're supposed to be doing any final words, right? And yeah, words, and we, we end up Okay, going, any uh, final okay. words, Mom? Anything about Trump? She probably could go you going to jail. On. You going to jail, Trump? She should. You going to jail she now? You can see any final words? Nope. I'm, I, I live, love the people that love about some bullshit and these trivial things about who identifies as what about race about any yeah. of that love the people that love you my yeah. last final words is uh, i agree with you both um trump hopefully he's going to jail oh, he going to and jail. Then secondly um love on each other like it's too short to be an asshole all the time yes, yes. um hold on don't look at no more he from Lily. Show, y'all. Oh, thank <laughs> you, Lily. Thank you for tuning in, Lily. Um, we appreciate you. And then, then I mean, Lily made me lose track of what I was about to say. Thank y'all for tuning in. See you maybe next week, maybe two weeks for so organizing times. I don't know. But yeah. we'll, we'll see you when we we see y'all. Okay. Yeah. We we'll see each other. All right. We we'll see each other. Okay.